All right, similarly to the My Career edition of a Cyberface, we can also do this with creative players too. So in the NBA Entertainers roster, I was added as a um, celebrity. <laughs> but um, I can go ahead and find my player in this roster by searching for my name. And there I am, Jasmine, right underneath <laughs> Morgan Freeman, but above Homer Simpson. <laughs> I love this roster. So all you got to do to add a cyber face for me is scroll to the right until you find generic face, which is right there. So we change generic face to zero. If it's a one, that means there is a generic face. If it's zero, it means there's not. Then the CFID is then activated for my player. Let's say I want to have it be 1244, which is, if you don't know, Mike Wang. That is his Cyberface ID. I am taking it over for my player for Fly Fat Boy Fly. Hell yeah. <laughs> but that's how you do it. And um, now in game, this created player, because it is a created player, will now load a uh, Cyberface. Now the important thing to say, remember is that I can change this to 5555, this number right here, to any four digit number. And you actually go over into the um, 10,000s if you want to as well, a little bit. And then if I have a PNG 5555, it will load this file instead of one that already exists. So I could, it can have it be unique to one that doesn't overwrite an existing file. And I can import my own model, my own texture my own tattoos on my arms and everything and that's basically it I will have my own face in the game for a created player again it's the same similar thing as uh, um, adding it for a my career player so if you need a further explanation on how to do it for my career player check out that video essentially the same thing though hope you learned something I hope this helps Check out the all tutorials link in the description and I will see you in the next video.